Self-isolation sucks, guys. It really does. The streets are empty, it's affecting everyone, but it's the responsible thing to do uh, at this time, and I hope you guys are doing the same thing right now. But um, getting back to the video. You see, over these past few years, I've upgraded my PC, my smartphone, a lot of the household items, tech items, but one of the things that definitely needs an upgrade is my current Wi-Fi setup. I've been using the ASUS RT66U. It's a really old router. In fact, it was handed down by Mike when I moved here to Montreal. Uh, it's not an AC router, so it's really, really old. And uh, it's been getting the job done, but I've been experiencing some dropouts, especially when I'm upstairs. So the Wi-Fi signal strength isn't the greatest. And now that I'm spending a lot of time at home, working on multiple projects, doing a lot of uploads on YouTube, and of course downloading Steam because gaming is definitely a priority. <laughs> um, it's It just needs an upgrade. So our friends over at ASUS hooked us up with their latest Zen Wi-Fi 6 routers, and I'm just gonna try and eliminate the bottleneck that I'm currently experiencing and see what this whole deal about Wi-Fi 6 is. So just to give you an idea, my router is sitting behind this closet. As you can see, it's right over there. My modem is behind that box or sitting inside that box and I've channeled the ethernet cables and all that stuff to the router. And uh, yeah, this is, this is what I have right now. This is my existing setup. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is running a few tests on my notebook to see what kind of performance, how fast, how reliable my existing Wi-Fi router is. All right, so I'm on my five gigahertz network right now. I'm just gonna quickly run my speed tests. Okay, we're getting about 150 down and then our uploads are about 54. Okay, so my next test is basically downloading four episodes from um, Ozark, that's on Netflix. Highly recommend, it's a great show. So let's just do that. I'm gonna hit the stopwatch. It took three minutes and 20 seconds to download four episodes. Okay, so our next test is to hop into a Skype call with Mike and I am gonna go through video because we're trying to use as much as bandwidth as we can. Technically, I shouldn't have any issues because I've been pretty successful with video calls in my living room but I have experienced drops when I'm outside or when I'm upstairs, so it's, yeah. It's the um, potato cam. It's the potato cam, <laughs> that's true. But what is the quality like? It looks pretty good for a notebook and I can hear you loud and clear, so okay. yeah, that's good. All right guys, so I am outside, about 100 feet away from the Wi-Fi router and I'm gonna run a speed test on this laptop, the signal strength is really, really bad. Okay, so we got about 52 megabits per second download and about 23 uploads. So yes, it's significantly slower for sure. I expected that, but let's move on to our next test. Next up, we're downloading Ozark, four episodes. I am gonna start my stopwatch and the speeds are roughly, yeah, it's like 40, 41. Guys, we have a problem. Uh, there is no internet connection. I think it dropped. The Wi-Fi dropped. So I guess that's a fail. Uh, I haven't moved the laptop whatsoever. It's just that the Wi-Fi connection dropped. All right, so now it's time to give Mike a call. Hello. Hello. Oh boy. I know. Okay, yeah. so okay. just to let you know, the Netflix download I hear, failed. I can hear like one, I can hear one out of every like three words. You can't hear me, can you? <laughs> it's a fail. <laughs> you can't hear me at all. <laughs> All right, so with our baseline test complete on our existing router, it's time to upgrade to the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi AX. Now this is the two pack variant, uh, which is essentially a mesh system, but I'm gonna be running these tests again with just a single modem to see how much stronger Wi-Fi 6 actually is. And then maybe in the end of the video, I'll walk you through how to set up the mesh network, which should be pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly unbox this. Okay, what do we have here? Let's go through what comes in the box. Having trouble. There's a toll-free number that it can reach. Uh, I've got a quick start, quick start guy here. I'm definitely gonna need this when it comes to setting it up. And then we have our two systems here. So this is our, man, look at how beautiful that is. This is one beautiful looking router. I've never seen routers as pretty as this one right here. Good job, Jesus. The next thing, of course, is another module, which is right over there. I think that's about it. Very, very straightforward packaging. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of unboxing a motherboard, but it's a router. It's just a router. We have the power supply for both of our routers and, uh, and an ethernet port, and that's pretty much it. Now, one of the main reasons to consider a mesh network is to increase signal strength or network coverage throughout your household. So say for instance, you're living in a 6,000 square feet or larger house, a single modem is just not gonna cut it. It just won't be able to cover those spots where you typically 
find Wi-Fi very, very poor in terms of signal strength or not even being able to connect to the internet. That's where a second node comes in because uh, you can place this a little further away from your main router and this would create its own Wi-Fi hotspot covering those weaker areas within your household where you typically not get the best Wi-Fi signal. Now, if you're living in a smaller apartment, you wouldn't necessarily need to invest in a second node. You'll be perfectly fine with a single router, especially if it's within 1500 square feet. So with that out of the way, let's move on to setup. Guys, I really have to give credit to ASUS for providing a very simple and straightforward quick start guide. As you can see, there's not a lot of junk you need. In fact, you just need a single app to get this thing started. So the next thing I need to do is replace that router right over there with this beautiful thing. So uh, let's get this set up. The next step is to properly set up the router. And in order to do that, you have to download the ASUS router app on your phone, uh, whether if it's iOS or Android, you can download it through the Play Store or the App Store. Keep in mind, it would be a good idea to download it before you switch everything to the new router, because then you'd lose your Wi-Fi connection. So that's a quick tip right there. But nonetheless, uh, it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, I'm going to choose Zen Wi-Fi right over there. Uh, it's going to ask me to enable location services and all that stuff. It's going to start searching for the router and hopefully it should be able to find it. And it looks like it did. So I'm just going to tap that. Okay, so now it's asking me to set up my note, which is the second module that did come with the two pack. Uh, but I'm going to skip that option because like I said earlier, I do want to rerun the test with just a single modem to see how strong that is. So I'm just going to skip that and uh, yeah, just get started. So I'm just going to fill out my Wi-Fi settings here. I don't want you guys sneaking in. So let me do that and I'll get back to you right, right in a moment. So we're in, we're in the Wi-Fi is functional. I am connected to the network. All right. So now comes the moment of truth. I'm going to rerun all of those tests on the ZenBook 15 with this new router and see if there's any improvement. Keep in mind that that laptop does feature a Wi-Fi 6 network card. So it'll be interesting to see how we can leverage Wi-Fi 6. Okay, so we have speed test loaded up. Moment of truth, my friends. Let's see if there's an improvement. What? I literally just want to go outside and cry um, because I, that is exactly what I paid for. That speed, 450 down, 50 up. <sighs> I'm, I'm, this is crazy. All right, now let's do the Netflix download because this is more, this is getting even more exciting. One minute and 17 seconds. Okay, that is definitely a noticeable improvement. So next up, let's uh, let's hop into Skype. Y you sound perfectly fine. I think the, I guess the million dollar question is when I test all of this outside. All right, so I'm running a speed test outside with a new router about 100 feet away. And as you can see, that is really fast guys. Uh, I have connected this laptop to the fastest five gigahertz channel. Downloads faster, uploads faster. Let's uh, move on to the Skype call test. So can you hear me well? well I can hear you perfectly. I can actually hear you perfectly too. We're not skipping. There's no audio video lag and you're, you can hear everything that I'm saying. There's the, you're not hearing like five words that were a thousand. No, I'm hearing everything that you're saying right now. Wow. Well, there you have it, guys. Skype conference, that's a success. It worked just fine. Okay, so the next test is to download the Netflix episode. So I'm gonna hit the stopwatch and quickly hit download. Guys, it's downloading all of those episodes at close to 190, 200 megabits per second. What's really fascinating about this upgrade is the fact that the Wi-Fi signal hasn't dropped. It's still downloading. So it took three minutes and 36 seconds to download all four episodes. That is basically the same time it took for me to download when I was inside my house with the old router. Wow. All right, so let me explain what Wi-Fi 6 is and what it's actually doing to help me out here. Let's start with what you need to look out for. A product that supports Wi-Fi 6 might have a label like one of these, and in the specs area, there'll be 802.11ax, or in this case of routers, it could just use AX in its name. The evolution of wireless technology really highlights how our lifestyles have changed and why Wi-Fi 6 might be really important. You see, these days, we have everything from our smartphones to home security systems to thermostats and even some home appliances hooked up to our home network. But all of those online devices are fighting for the same connection. And I'm sure some of you might be experiencing Wi-Fi issues at home, especially during this quarantine period, as everyone in the household is trying to connect 
to the same network at the same time. So think of these as multiple data streams trying to access the internet like a bunch of people all trying to fit through a small door where the door is your router's wireless network. Sure, some of you will get through, but there's still a bottleneck preventing smooth traffic flow. Putting this as simply as possible, Wi-Fi 6 can add more doors by opening up additional access points and making sure that each one of those doors is bigger to let more data through. I hope that made sense. So about that bigger door, Wi-Fi 6 is rated for up to 10 gigabits per second of bandwidth, but there is a catch. It's a theoretical speed that can't be hit by a single connection or even under perfect conditions. I'll use the ASUS router that I have here as an example. Some boxes show AX followed by a number like 6600 here on the Zen Wi-Fi AX XDA. Technically, that means 6600 megabits per second, but if you look closely at the specs, you'll see it's coming from a combination of speeds uh, from ASUS's three Wi-Fi 6 channels. In this case, you can see that the five gigahertz second channel will offer the most performance. It's super important you run your most bandwidth hungry devices on that band. So the focus on Wi-Fi 6 is to really increase the number of devices that can access the network without experiencing any slowdowns. Uh, they've also rolled improvements to increase performance at maximum range. And I was clearly able to experience that with the new router about 100 feet away from it. And you just have to make sure that you have clear access if your neighbors are also using Wi-Fi. The last point that I want to touch base on is efficiency. Supposedly, these new Wi-Fi 6 controllers are much less power hungry compared to previous generations. So that could help increase battery life on notebooks and smartphones. All right, so before I wrap things up, I do want to quickly walk you through how to set up an AI mesh node. So this is the second module that came with the two pack. So all you have to do is fire up your app and uh, hit up the AI mesh node over there, and it's going to start looking for the second module, which shouldn't take too long. So we're just going to click on that, uh, select the various location, and uh, yeah, hit apply. And that's it. The second node is already paired. It was a simple two step process, and it was perfect for a noob like me when it comes to networking. The app itself is pretty amazing, and there are a bunch of things that this can do, uh, like show the status of your mesh network, or if you want to add a third node, you can certainly go with that option if you really need to, uh, and control network settings. Let's just say the options from the router's main control menu are all here. I'm really happy with this Wi Fi upgrade, guys. I mean, the speeds are super fast and consistent throughout my house. I just can't be even more happier. Now, I do need to mention that you might not see a huge difference moving to Wi-Fi 6 unless if your current household is maxing out on your current network. So that's it for me, guys. That's pretty much been my upgrade path to Wi-Fi 6. I'm very happy with the speeds. Let me know if you guys are happy with your existing Wi-Fi setup. And if you're actually looking into upgrading your Wi-Fi routers, would you consider Wi-Fi 6 or a Wi-Fi 6 router? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Ebro with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.